<laughs> well, I come say hi to the camera. Lila, come here. Lila, girl. Lila. 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 That was Layla. <laughs> so, day whatever of quarantine, we are bored and we are gonna make some brownies. Some double mix, double fudge brownies. What? Also, hi, welcome everyone. I'm Bailey. <laughs> this is Shay, my sister. Okay, so let's collect everything. Okay. Oh, what do you need the pan for? We need the pan for brownies. Yeah, you want oh, like this? Or should we make more brownies? I mean, take the lid off. Don't use the lid. <laughs> Thank you for that, girl. Um, that one. We should use this one? Okay. Because we want more brownies. More than you. Okay. Okay, do we have everything? Yeah, I think we have everything. Oh, we should probably preheat the oven. Uh, uh, we need to preheat oven. I'm assuming that that means... I did it. Back to this. This is all our stuff we got going on. Yeah, we need to grease. Gotta get the sides. Do you think they can see all the Layla hair on my black shirt? This is our greased pan. Yeah, it's greased now. Knead double fudge packet 15 times before opening to soften. Okay. Brownie mix. I'm assuming this is what they mean by meat. I need this too. What? Or is that the double fudge packet? I think it's that. That's the brownie mix. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is what I meant. We need to knead this. Wait, okay. Are you sure it's this though? We should probably just knead them both just in case. <laughs> okay, you think that's good? Did it say 15 seconds? So no, it said 15 times. Need double fudge packet 15 times. What's one need? What do you consider one need? One, two. <laughs> Use a whisk, right? Yeah. So with the egg. Okay. Now we're gonna add all of the ingredients. Let's make sure this is at the bottom. Oh, I'm not gonna be stupid about this. I'm gonna grab scissors. Oh, yeah. Hi, Lala. Why is this not cutting? Oh, there it is. Okay, we need two large eggs. These look like the biggest, right? Yep, okay. Can I do this single-handedly? Let's see. I'm scared. Oh! Oh, look at that! <laughs> look at that! I'm impressed. Try number two. Here we go. all over. Okay. okay. I failed on that attempt. But that's okay. We got one good attempt at least. Okay. I we forgot to wash our hands before this. Wash your hands now. <laughs> Yeah, so we forgot to wash our hands before we started. So we're washing our hands right now. Okay, so now we need water. We need a one part. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. Did we want fudgy brownies or cake-like brownies? We fudgy already, brownies. Yeah, we already put in two eggs. Oh. So now we're going for the cake like brownies. We should have we should have saw that before. Oh well, they'll still be good. So water. The moving water. Wait, okay, so you need two tablespoons of water instead of one third cup. We are all turned around. So guys. That's what you get for not fully reading directions because now we're stuck making cake-like brownies. One. What if I just drop this right now? <laughs> no. Two. Do I just like not know how to open it? Oh. oh. There you go. Do you see that? Do you remember ever getting a fudge packet? Mm -mm. I don't remember ever getting a fudge packet either. Maybe because this is the double fudge. Every last drop. <laughs> like if there's more chocolate to be had, why not have it? Okay. Whoop. Does it say how long to stir? Until well blended. About 50 strokes. Hey, are you counting? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Shay, I think it's your turn. 
How's it looking? Also, in case you were wondering, here's the box we're using. The Duncan Hines brownie mix double fudge. You think that's good? Uh, maybe go like a couple more times. Better to be safe than sorry. Hey guys, here's some of my artwork from elementary school. That was probably one of my favorites. Little horse, another horse. I like that one a lot too. But I, I messed up the ears bad, that inside line, you see? Yeah. Yeah, that's probably good. Yeah, you got like most of it out. Do you want that? Yeah, I got spread. So now that it's spread out, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to grab a knife and scrape the excess off. Oh, that backfired. That backfired. Okay, none of it's like really coming off, so this is not really working that well. But we're gonna get this to work. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, and now we bake. So it says for um, an eight by eight pan size, uh, we should go 35 to 38 minutes and then it says for a 9 by 9 we should go 30 to 33 and because this has more surface area it's going to take less time to bake. Let's put it in for 25 to start out with and then we'll see how they're doing and just check on them from there. Okay, the brownies are in now and now we wait. Yeah. Okay. That's clean. Wait, did I put soap on this? No. <laughs> okay, okay, again. Okay. Can we make cookies as well? There's cookies in the freezer. Sure. Go get them and uh, see what it takes to make them. Oh god, I just water over, water over the sink onto me. I think we just put it in ah. the oven. Got all the dishes washed. Look at us go. There's fudge. You're now stuck to the bottom of the. Nope, I got it. I got it. You gotta use the one with more pressure. Oh, look at that fudge right there. On the side. Fudge all over. Okay. Okay, so now we are going to make some cookies as well, we have decided. Some chocolate chip cookies from. Schwanz, let's do this. Okay, so what does it say? We need a pan. Do we make two little pans of these? Wait, how much room do we have? I think we might only have room for one. So let's just make one. Oh, well. Oh. Out of parchment paper. Well, good thing that fits. She thought of something brilliant. Let's use knives. So we're doing that uh, to hold the parchment paper down because it will roll back up if we don't have weight on it. Oh, I just did the worst job cutting this open. Do you see how janky that line is? Oh no! Rip. Rip, rip. Do you think the cookies on their own will hold the paper down? Oh no! Okay. We have this set up at such a funky angle, and I'm trying to make it stay so you can see us put the cookies on here. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna be able to. Ugh, okay. This is as good as we're going to get this. Now, we start placing cookies. Oh, we're just going to go like this. Oh. Okay, do you think that's too close to the edge, probably? Yeah. And one more. Does that look pretty evenly spaced? Okay, let's put these in the oven now. And then, how long does it say about this? Ah! Yeah, I just... I just touched that. So 12 to 14 minutes at like three, we'll check on them. Okay, so the timer just went off on the brownies, so we're gonna check them. Okay, and the cookies don't look close to being done either. Do you think the brownies are? Let's grab a toothpick, and then we're just gonna poke this in the middle. Oh yeah, stuff is still sticky. Okay, so we'll probably give that like another two or three, five minutes, we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna say the brownies might be done. Ooh, I think the brownies are done. I think they are. I think that's good enough. Okay, let's just take them out. So we got the alligator hand. 
and then, or is this a crown? I don't know. So I think the brownies are done, so we're just gonna pull those out, and we're just gonna let that sit up there. We'll let those cool for a little bit. Do those look done? I can't tell. What do you think, Shay? It says it to see if it's like golden brown on the edges. Are they golden brown? I don't think they're golden brown. Yeah, not yet. Okay, we're gonna let them sit for a little bit longer. <laughs> okay, so I think the cookies are done, so I'm gonna pull those out. Oh, these are golden. I wanna touch them with a toothpick to see how hard they are. I hope they're not too hard because I don't like hard cookies. Oh, no, they're not. They're not hard. We're good. You see that blemish I made? Yeah, they're good. But that might be because they're still warm, but hopefully not. Okay, so I'm just gonna let these cool for a little bit and then we'll be back. Okay, we're back guys. So it's like almost night time now and the brownies and the cookies have been sitting out for a little bit. We're gonna try them, we're gonna taste test them. How do we wanna taste test these? Do we just wanna take like a small bite or like... What? Are they hard? <laughs> they kind of hard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just put that back. Um, well, so here's the cookie. I'm taste testing this right now. Not my best work. <laughs> definitely not my best work. I definitely probably should have taken them out sooner. I mean, they're probably good to like the average person, but like, I like my cookies really soft and like, I don't know, easy to Okay, show you one truck. Okay, tell me what you think. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> they're a little burnt. They're burnt, but like, they're not bad. Yeah. What'd you say? It's good with milk though. Yeah, no, I bet they're good with milk, honestly. Okay, let's hope the brownies, we, do, we did a little better on the brownies. <laughs> okay, let's try the brownies. Okay, let's both grab a small spot. Oh, kind of hard. Okay, and here we are tasting the brownie. I don't think the brownie's that bad, honestly. No, the brownie's good. I don't think the brownie's that bad. I think the brownie's kind of good. I think the brownie's kind of good. Guys, look at the damage we just did to the brownies. Oh well. Okay, okay. Cookies. Look, she's eating another one. They they obviously can't be that bad. <laughs> But anyways, scale 1 through 10, what do we rate the cookies? I say a 5. Yeah, I would say a 5. Yeah, 5. And brownies? 10. 9. I'd give the brownies like a 7.5. But I'm talking like a 10 is like you buy at a bakery, you know? Oh, um, 8, yeah. Yeah, the brownies are good. Um, yeah, so you want to say bye, Shay? Bye-bye. Yeah, okay, so that's the YouTube video. Um, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And yeah, I hope you guys are all staying safe. So peace out. See ya, yeah.